afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and the ship's company. My apologies for the intrusion into your staterooms and to the ship's company for disturbing their peace, but I have an important announcement regarding our schedule. For the last few days, we've been watching the progress of a storm in the Southern Ocean approaching from the west is a deep low of 957 millibars with all the associated weather. And I'm sorry, that wind has nothing to do with the storm. So I'll just say that one more time. Approaching from the west is a deep low of 957 millibars with all the associated weather we're expecting wind of severe gale force and 10 to 12 meter swell that's 35 feet in the uh, imperial units it would be foolhardy and dangerous to remain in the area as this depression approaches in discussion with other senior officers we've decided to head north this evening instead of remaining in this area until tomorrow lunchtime as initially planned. This will give us 20 hours head start and I'm confident this will keep us ahead of the worst of the storm in the Drake Passage. An early departure from the Antarctic Peninsula means that we'll miss the planned sail past of Deception Island tomorrow. However, I'm sure that you'll appreciate the much smoother ride across the Drake Passage. The good news is that we'll arrive at Cape Horn at 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning, hopefully well ahead of the worst of the bad weather. We will then navigate the Beagle Canal, which is quite spectacular, and we'll navigate the Beagle Canal in daylight. This would otherwise have been carried out in darkness. At present, we're trying to arrive, uh, trying to arrange an early arrival in Ushuaia, possibly around 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening, but this has yet to be confirmed. In any case, the ship will be in the shelter of the inner, inner passages instead of facing the storm in the Drake Passage. We've said many times that these itineraries are very weather dependent, and we've made these decisions with your safety and comfort as our main priority. But I also believe that with the daylight passage of the Beagle Canal, you will not be disappointed. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just recap. This evening, we're now heading north out of the Antarctic Peninsula. The reason for this is to avoid a severe low pressure system which is coming in from the west. The intention is to be up at Cape Horn on Tuesday morning and then to transit the spectacular Beagle Canal during daylight hours. And I would like to stress, please don't be alarmed about me talking about this uh, severe storm because I'm more than confident that we can cross the Drake Passage before its arrival by leaving this evening. So once again, sorry for interrupting your evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain. As is customary on a sea day at noon, we like to keep you up to date with the ship's navigational progress. We are experiencing these uh, quite strong winds. At the moment, we've got uh, northwesterly winds, gale force 8, and rough seas. The temperature at present is 7 degrees Celsius, which is 45 on the Fahrenheit scale. The forecast for the rest of the day, hopefully the uh, wind will come down a little bit as we head a bit further north, and uh, not promising an awful lot, but the winds will back to the west, and we will uh, experience 
near gale force 7 winds and the seas will begin to moderate. Well, I made a few decisions to hopefully make the ride a little bit more comfortable and what we're doing at the moment we're heading almost at uh, full speed heading up towards Cape Horn distance uh, at the moment from Cape Horn is about uh, 230 nautical miles what I intend doing is steaming on past Cape Horn and going up to an island called Lennox Island and we are going to anchor there at around midnight tonight on the eastern side of the island which will provide us a very good lee which is a nautical word for shelter from the wind and the sea. I am watching the weather forecast very very carefully and uh, do have to tell you that the Drake Passage tomorrow is looking absolutely awful so we're very very pleased that we made the decision last night to head north and of course we will have to bear in mind the condition of the weather tomorrow as we head back down towards Cape Horn. If it's looking too rough, well then I'm afraid we'll have to cancel that and head back to the Beagle Canal, but we'll do everything we can, taking into account your safety. Now a few words of caution. At the moment we are experiencing very strong winds on the open decks. The relative wind is about 60 odd knots, so we've uh, taken the liberty of closing the port side of deck number seven. This is for everybody's safety. If you're in the exposed areas, I do just ask you to use common sense and uh, hold on to the handrails. This is your officer of the watch speaking from the bridge. I would like to give you some information regarding our progress. Since our departure from Antarctica, we have steamed 408 nautical miles and uh, weather-wise, at noon, the true wind is from the northwest, force 8 or 40 knots. The seas are rough and uh, we expect the current condition to prevail throughout the day.